and a man goes hunting for some treasures at a South Jersey thrift shop and it leads him on a quest to bridge generations. So here's what he found. He found a yearbook from 1942. So he dusted it off and is now hoping to reunite this piece of history with family members. Here's our Don Timoney. She has you know, wedding announcements. As Manuel Nunez of Vineland pages through this 1942 Paulsboro High School yearbook, he finds himself getting a snapshot of Catherine Brewer Moore's life during World War II. And then I start going through it and I see that it's all sorts of things about this woman's life. I'm talking about her birth certificate, her high school diploma, her driver's license from 1942. The yearbook also filled with clippings of her classmates who lost their lives in the war, even her graduation announcement. What made it interesting to me is with the time, uh, 1942 at 8 o'clock Eastern War Time. It's not Eastern Standard Time. This is where Manuel found the yearbook tucked in among all these other books. He loves to come to the Goodwill store here in Glassboro to collect books and find books for himself and his children, but never expected to make this kind of a find. I looked at it. I said, oh, a yearbook. Manuel, who also goes by Manny, loves to find treasures at Goodwill and flea markets, but wonders how this ended up there. He's pretty sure it was not intentional. I wanted to find, uh, you know, find out whose it is. I really didn't think that it was okay for something like that to be in, in a Goodwill for $3. You know, that's somebody's whole life. Manny bought the yearbook to make sure it gets home. He's now trying to track down any relatives who are still alive and may be wondering what happened to it since Catherine Moore died last year. It would be awesome. I would like it. I would like it to give it back. If you can help reunite this yearbook with Catherine Brewer Moore's family, reach out to me on social media and we'll make it happen. In Vineland, Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News.